Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 user interface development series. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can work with showing the mouse cursor on the player's screen within your user interface. So if you've got something like a main menu like you do here, you are going to want your mouse cursor to be shown on the screen at all times. By default, when you do go ahead and click, you are going to notice it's going to take away your mouse cursor and you are just going to have regular inputs. So what we're going to be doing is two things. First things first, showing you how to um, first of all show the mouse cursor on the screen and then secondly we are also going to be showing you how you can disable the inputs for sort of left right on the arrow keys so it is literally just going to be the mouse clicking and all of that good stuff. So first of all, what I want you guys to do is for your main menu level, um, you need to make sure you are using the spectator pawn as your default pawn class. Don't forget to get your world settings up, just go to window and then just check world settings. And the reason why we need to have some kind of a pawn class is because we need to access the player controller which tells the engine um, you know some of the default input stuff like showing the mouse cursor so if your settings for your main menu level aren't set up like this just make sure that it is so once we've done this what we can do is within our main menu we can go to our graph and we can set up some basic blueprints which are going to tell the engine to show that mouse cursor and it is really really simple so what i'm going to do is right click and type in get player controller and what this is going to do is access that blueprint which contains the information for some of the default input stuff and how you should be interacting with the game and within here you have a variable called set show, uh, sorry you get a variable called show mouse cursor and it is exactly that so if we type in show mouse cursor um, and it is the set node that we're looking for and what this is going to allow us to do is to essentially tell the engine with a boolean which is a true or false value whether or not we should be showing the mouse cursor on the screen once again this is all just blueprint stuff and if you do want to get a little bit more knowledge about blueprints and how everything works make sure you do check out my blueprint uh, tutorial series and the link for that is as always in the description what we're going to do is hook this up to our event construct node if you haven't got one of these just right click type in event construct and just create one of these so what this is doing essentially as soon as this widget blueprint is being constructed so brought onto the screen it is going to get the player controller and tell it to show the mouse cursor now bear in mind you do need to tick this if you untick it it's going to take away the mouse cursor if you tick it it is going to show the mouse cursor so if you go ahead and compile this and then press play you can see we have now got our mouse cursor on here and it is permanently on our screen what you will notice however is you're still able to sort of click and drag and look left and right move left and right with the arrow keys as well we do not need that and that is where your input modes are going to come in so what we're going to do is essentially tell the engine within this level within this blueprint to only accept the ui inputs so what i'm going to do is after i've done show mouse cursor i'm going to drag it out and type in um, ui mode and we're going to set input mode to ui only and then for the player controller drag this into our player controller and then for the widget we're going to drag this out and get a reference to ourself so just type in self and then in mouse lock mode don't worry about that too much but now if you go ahead and compile press play you shouldn't be able to click and drag anymore you shouldn't be able to move left or right it should simply just be the mouse cursor 
on the screen and you can interact with everything. You can still press your buttons and all of that good stuff. So hopefully you guys are starting to see your menu come back to life with this. Now what you might need to do as part of one of your button functionalities, so when you start the game, you are going to want to take it out of the UI mode. So what you're going to do is the opposite. So set input mode to game only. And then this way you can uh, sort of enable that input again so you can let your player move left right and so on again and all of that good stuff there is a couple of modes so type in set input mode and you have got ui only game only game and ui only and those are pretty much self-explanatory Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to show you for this video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.